Howdy chaps, my name is Mohit and people today we're going to talk about the figure and the fig caption elements. The uh, figure element is usually used with the uh, IMG tag, image tag and the fig caption acts like the caption of the, the label of the legion for the uh, image. Um, figure and fig caption are usually used in conjunction with each other and they are used to uh, mark up diagrams, illustrations, photos, core examples uh, and there's nothing stopping you from using it with other elements like the audio video and the canvas tag. We can use uh, a different place of figure element and we can also use the label uh, caption or the paragraph or the p tags in place of the fig caption tag but the figure and figure uh, caption uh, fig caption elements are useful in the semantic markup as we'll soon see. So let's see uh, how I use uh, two images along with the uh, figure tag. Let's start. So I'm going to say a file, a new. I'm going to choose a layout, two column fixed left sidebar. I'm going to make sure that the doc type is HTML5. The layout is add to head, internal style sheet that is. Let me hit create. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the figure tag out here just after the H2 element. So let me hit enter a few times out here, come out here. Let's have the opening figure tag out here. Okay, let's close it up as well, like so. Okay, and out here. Now when I push in an image inside a, a figure tag, automatically some uh, space, uh, some padding is created. Uh, just if you ever use the block code uh, tag or the block code element, you, you see that it actually gets indented towards the right hand side. Similarly, out here, when you use the figure tag and then use the IMG tag, the image is then, uh, you know, displaced, uh, is offset a little bit, as we'll soon see. So, let me uh, pull in two images out here one, and that's a two out here. Okay, uh, just for the sake of convenience, I'm uh, not using the alternate text, but you should use it. Let me save the file up. So let's call it uh, figure element. Okay, although we are talking about the figure and the fig caption too. Right, so let's have a look up uh, in the browser to see how it actually looks. Okay, there you go. So uh, now, uh, these are the two uh, images that I've used out here inside the uh, figure element. If I had not used the figure element and if I had inserted the uh, two um, images, uh, you know, without using the figure tag, then the little bit of padding that you see all around the these two images uh, wouldn't have been there. Of course, I can show you, but to save time, you can test it yourself. Okay, let me minimize this. Right, so next up, people, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the caption for the images. And I can use it above the image tags or I can use it below the image tags. So I'm going to use for the first time the figure caption, fig caption element. Okay, have to have a closing too, like so. And in between, let's say um, Adobe Dreamweaver and Flash um, CS6. Just a description for the images. Okay, uh, I don't need this extra space S anymore. Cool. So, uh, this is what we have just written. So the opening and the closing figure tags, the self-closing image tag out here and out here, and we have the opening and the closing uh, figure caption tag out here. Let's take up a preview in Google Chrome after saving the changes to see how it actually looks now. Okay, so very clearly, uh, this is acting like the caption for the these two images, Adobe Dreamweaver and Flash CS6. Okay, I'm going to further style the uh, figure and the fake caption tags. Let's see how. So let me click the new CSS rule button. 
uh, drop down the contextual selector to a tag let's affect the figure element first okay and it's in the uh, div with the class content so let's write it like this let's write a descendant true and which also means that it can't be a tag it will be a compound rule now so <laughs> okay this is fine too so let's say I want to affect the figure element inside uh, the class content inside class container which is just which is but fine okay so basically creating a descendant rule and it's gonna be uh, inside this document only internal internal rule internal star sheet okay so uh, what do I want to do for it do with it so let me straight away go to the block category uh, the figure element is a block level element I'm gonna turn it into a inline block element a block level element is one which occupies the whole space from left to the right but once you turn it uh, inline block mixture of uh, block and uh, inline so I'm just turning it to inline block I'm going to go to background area and out here let me go with a color of mm, a background color of let's go with uh, peach no let's go with the uh, lemon chiffon lemon chiffon okay I just hope I've spelled everything correctly and let's say okay and let's have a look up in the browser now okay so very clearly people uh, this is the lemon chiffon background color okay I need to further style uh, the uh, figure element just let me just locate it Fact, there it is and what I want to do with it is let me go to the border category let me apply a dashed thin uh, maroon border so that's maroon rather okay so as well as see this is the rule as well as apply some padding of let's say 10 px all around that will create some extra space all around let's see how things look like right now let me just save the changes let's go back to the image let's refresh and as you can see uh, things are looking a lot better now I'm gonna uh, create a rule for the uh, fake caption too and uh, as I told you earlier this fake caption could have been uh, could have I could have used it above the uh, image tags not always under the image tags so that's possible too so this time what I'm gonna do is let me just click out here where the opening fake caption tag is let me click on this uh, plus button so it's gonna target fake caption inside figure inside content inside container rules or classes which is but fine it's going to be an internal uh, rule which is also okay it's a compound descendant rule let me say okay and let's say font size of 90 percent mm, font size italic mm, and font weight normal or light lighter okay and that's about it let me say okay and let's have a look up in the browser now Okay, so very clearly, uh, this is acting like the caption for these two images. Uh, now let me just reiterate. Just just let me recap whatever we have learned uh, so far. So the figure element is uh, used usually in conjunction with the fake caption element or the tag, and is uh, used to semantically mark up diagrams, illustrations, photos, and code examples among other things like uh, the audio video and the canvas tag too
Okay. Again, uh, it's very useful for the semantic markup, but there's nothing stopping you from using the dip tag, let's say, in place of the figure element and the label caption or the p tags in uh, place of uh, fig caption tag. Okay. So, people, uh, I hope you uh, learned a lot from this tutorial, enjoyed it too, and I also hope you'll keep coming back for more. You have a good day. Bye bye. Peace.